Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's intraday analysis video brought to you by the creators of proprietary price, pattern, and time methodology. Learn the PPT strategies and profit for life. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at InTheMoneyStocks. Com. All right, folks, let's get right into the mix here. Markets are slightly lower on the day. We had a bigger gap down, but the markets have really just pushed right back up, basically coming back to the flat line before falling here in the last 10 minutes. And it's been a nice little dip here, but it's very, very light volume. The SPY trading just $54 million on this Tuesday, January 15th, 2013. S&P right now sits down about 2.5 points, Dow down 9, NASDAQ down down 13. The weakness in the NASDAQ is primarily Apple driven. Apple getting hammered today as predicted in this video as much as two to three weeks ago, folks. I said to you guys, and we'll go to the chart right now, I said, if Apple ever closes below the 505-506 pivot, it will go down and it will go down fast. All right, those were my exact words. And the reason I knew that, if you go to the daily chart of Apple here, you take this pivot low, Please notice it pierced this level but never closed below until yesterday. Here it hit, pierced. Here it hit and pierced. Each time it would bounce off. This is telling you that line is the line in the sand on Apple. No sooner did it close below yesterday, Apple collapsing today down 15 more dollars. All right, this is now heading to the 470 to 475 level. It actually got as low as 483.80, so really not that far away from 475 as your next pivot point. But that is the spot, the line in the sand at this point. And again, I've been dead on on Apple ever since the all-time highs at 700. At $700 per share, which again, if I zoom out right here, this area right here, this is where the media was upgrading it. The analysts were upgrading it to $1,000 price targets, $1,500 price targets, you name it. Again, I hope they're all shamed sitting in the corner. Because all that did was get the little average investor to buy at the highs. And that's always what the average investor does, unfortunately. One of the main reasons to come here to InTheMoneyStocks.com and join us is because you need to avoid the Wall Street hype. The Wall Street hype is why you're on the wrong side of the trade. All right, here at In The Money Stocks, we have a proprietary system, proprietary strategies. It puts you on the right side of the call. Just like I said Apple was done at 700, I'm now saying I'll be looking to buy around 470, 475 for a bounce. Then it's going to go lower. It's going to go down to 425, and that will be a longer-term low. The PPT strategies, we will teach it to you. We will give you trade alerts, swing trade calls. Everything you need to make money, and you'll learn the system to be able to do it for yourself. It's a sweet, gig, sweet deal, guys. Sweet gig. All right, bottom line is Apple breaking down here beautifully today. That's why the NASDAQ is under pressure. Um, you have other stocks that are actually doing well. The financials are doing pretty well today. If we look at the XLF, XLF's up a penny when the market's down slightly, and specifically JP Morgan Chase up 24 cents today. That's not a big move on JPM, but the fact is with the S&P Dow and NASDAQ all down, to see JPM up, Goldman Sachs up, Bank of America doing pretty well as well, all of those are pointing towards the financial strength, which again can be a leading indicator. You know, one thing I said to my members, and I and I'll say this to you briefly here, is that what I expect is the market to be choppy but trend higher on light volume. So far that happened last week. I was correct there. We made tons of profits in the market. Twenty nine percent winner, sixteen and a half percent winner, eleven point three percent winner in swing trading and all in one week. You know, again, as I said yesterday in the video, if you had just invested 5000 or I should say 10000 bucks in each one, you would have made over $5,000 for the week with just a 10000 investment in each one. Mapped out, that's over a quarter million a year if you did that every single week. Not bad. Not back on, bad on 30000 investment in total, 10000 in each play. All right, but the key is, again, I don't, I don't have a magic ball. I have a methodology, a proprietary strategy that works, and it just tells me which side to get on. That's all. And I don't force anything in the market. The market will tell me based on the PPT methodology, the strategy, do I get in, do I get out, do I stay neutral and not do anything at all. And that's all I look for. And the 80 to 90% success rate we can generate from that comes from that methodology. 
So again, you know, that's what it's all about, folks. Goldman Sachs here up 33 cents, although that's come off the highs pretty nicely, but still up on the day. Uh, Bank of America today up a penny. That's come off the highs as the markets have come down here a little bit as well. Uh, some other weaker stocks out there. Let me see what else we have. Google was weak, but actually came back nicely on the day. Um, Google actually went positive on a monster push here. Pretty crazy push on Google. Google right there, but notice how it was very weak early, then popped, went positive, now it's right back to the flat line. Actually starting to make a little bit of a bearish pattern here, but again, with the light volume, it's hard to imagine we'll see any major, major selling out there in the markets. And again, if we go back to the spiders, you can see we have already started to bounce up just a little bit, trying to recapture and go back towards the flat line. Today looks like kind of the second flattish type day. Um, again, I do anticipate a float maybe to the 52-week highs on the spiders, which mirror the S&P 500 at 148, and then possibly even up to about 150. So uh, at that point, I'll start looking for S&P shorts, but I don't really see the market as shortable on a swing trade basis. Um, which again is multiple days holding until we probably get close to that 150 SPY level. And that should happen at the end of January, early February. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing there. Um, again, come join us here at themoneystocks.com. All right, you want to, if you're a research center member, uh, the research center is geared towards investors and swing traders. That's where you're going to get trade alerts, you get email text alerts, you get uh, chart updates, cycle trends, you get cycle pivot points, you'll get all the levels on gold, oil, the dollar, you name it, everything you could possibly need there. The market, stock calls, uh, alerts, as I said before, and the alerts have an 80-90% to 90 success rate. So bottom line is we're beating the hedge funds out there, we're beating the institutions, no problem at all. Um, we don't really advertise out there, we just kind of keep it tight knit, we put out these free videos, that's about it, to give people insight, and those that want to learn, come to us and learn and profit for the rest of their life. It's a sweet deal, to be honest, very nice. Alright, keep an eye on Apple, that's really the mover today. On that note, I'm going to leave you guys, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Take care.